Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis Hamer, a large-scale acrylic artist who is inspired by black girl magic, hip-hop, and all things astrology. There's been a lot of things that's been taking place. You might have seen my art studio makeover part two. If you haven't, then that's where you can see how I've gotten this far on the studio, as well as I'm doing an art challenge called Paint Pearl this month for the month of April, where we create a unique piece every single day. And my wall is up there of what I am creating. So far, I think today, uh, today we are on day six. So uh, that's the hair challenge. So your girl is out here uh, draping for you to celebrate Paint Pro. What we're gonna be working on today is showing you all some of the details of Capricorn. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of the background layers for Aquarius and we might prime Pisces. So if you are new here, then I'll let you know that I'm working on a Zodiac series where I'm painting all 12 of the astrological signs and I am super, super close to being done. We got a lot to do, so let's get started. As you can probably see, I already got started, but now I'm gonna bring you all along on the journey. Here we have Capricorn. She has come a long way since the last video I posted. I was showing you in the previous video how I made some of these trees, but we're gonna be adding some more today. Y'all know I love me some golden paints. They're super pigmented and they have so many different type of viscosities. I'm using all four of them. As you can see, I have some high flows, some fluid, some heavy body. So I'm taking this flat brush here and I mixed a little bit of thalo blue with some cobalt blue. Since I'm representing Capricorn as the Snow Queen, I really wanted her to be sitting in this iceberg throne. So right now I'm adding some more contrast and creating some shadows behind her. In all my paintings, I love to represent strength and liberation, power, and just pure black girl magic. I recently went to Ghana for the year of return and travel always greatly influences my work, especially when it's to the motherland, okay? I really like to fuse African-American culture with African ancestral roots. So we got the Kufi hat on her and then we're gonna have some dope white box braids coming down for the queen. So this Capricorn is gonna be a true goat, okay? The greatest of all time. coming in with the thalo and cobalt turquoise. So I'm using these two on this background layer to start putting in the evergreen trees. Of course, y'all know I am in the Pacific Northwest. So I love the evergreen trees that are out here in Seattle. So we're gonna use this brush and I'm gonna show you all the technique that I'm using in order to make these trees. Pretty much they're super Bob Ross style. <laughs> When I hung this painting up, only put a few staples in and now I see that I need a few more. My painting technique I would consider to be more of an organized chaos. So I like for certain elements to look really realistic like the eyes and of course the portrait and the figure. When it comes down to other elements that I'm not trying to pay too much attention to, I really wanted to have a rough, almost graffiti or street art effect to it. I'm coming in with a little bit of black on this sponge just to hide a few of my paint strokes as well as to add some texture and a little bit more contrast to the background of her throne. 
there is more to be done on Capricorn, of course, but we're gonna move right along to Aquarius. How I get started on my canvases is by spraying them with a little bit of water so that the paint can glide a lot more smooth on the canvas. I'm using three colors for the background of Aquarius. I'm starting with this yellow and then coming in with some Quinn Magenta. And the third color that I'm using is Golden's Dioxin Purple. These giant canvases truly give me a run for my money. I be having a stretch, get my mind right, make sure that I'm that my joints are lubricated <laughs> because I be on the flow trying to get all this paint from end to end. So here it's really about getting the ratio to paint and water right. If there's not enough water, the paint won't glide smooth enough. And then if there's too much paint, now you're just wasting paint and who wants to do that? <laughs> So right now I'm just adding more water and then adding more paint and kind of just going back and forth until I feel like the consistency is right. So here I'm actually using a lower quality paint. This is where my figure will actually be. So when it's a background layer, I tend to use cheaper paint. One, because golden is wonderful, but the price point reflects that. So sometimes it's nice just to use like some kind of student grade paint in the background layer, especially if you know that it's gonna be covered up. Aquarius is the air sign, so all of the air signs in my series, I'm using this consistent color palette of more of a sunset-like color palette. This purple, this magenta, the yellow, but since she is a water bearer, I wanted to have this, um, this fluid effect going on. So she's actually gonna be standing in a waterfall. That's why this top portion is full of water droplets. Obviously this painting is too big for this wall, but so was Libra and we worked around it. I'll show you all how I did that in future videos. We are back in the studio today, y'all. So I'm working on this macrame chandelier. Look at it. I am super proud of myself because it has come a long way. This is the first time I'm ever doing anything like this. I'ma tag the YouTuber below that actually inspired me to do this project and showed us like from start to finish how to make this happen. Her name is uh, Exo McKenna, so definitely shout out to her. So this is gonna be coming soon to the studio. It's gonna be hanging really long and I'ma put some beads on it. It's just gonna be super cute. So I'm still working on getting the studio together, but we are making progress. So yeah, I'ma start braiding that. So let's chat a little bit. How have y'all been doing? I know it's been pretty rough out there. You know what's interesting is how I've been seeing a lot of folks saying that they're getting used to this new normal. I can definitely relate to that. I feel the same way. I've really been thinking a lot of just about this new normal and like what, what the future is gonna look like for the world and especially for artists. I mean, obviously I'm an artist, so this is something that I think about a lot. And one of the things that I've always known, but I think I, it has been reiterated even more during this journey is that I truly love my studio practice. I really love being here, being able to create, being able to decorate it how I like and being able to just create any idea that comes to my mind outside of trying to sell it or um, where is it gonna be shown or when's, when's my next mural contract or uh, what next gig can I get to get the bills paid. You know, it's really been like letting me know that I actually do want to commit to an online presence. Pretty much, I mean, I can just record what I'm already doing in my studio and really give you all an inside look into, okay, oh, do you just want to hang out? Is that it? Okay, there's a net there. <laughs> really trying to be friendly. You know what's crazy is that I've been actually feeling like a little bit of anxiety about when the world does pick back up and all the different things I'm gonna have to go to and do and attend and really having this time to commit to my craft has just been, I've been really grateful for it. What's next? 
how is it going to look and how can I also thrive during this time of change because change is simply inevitable you know it's it's gonna happen it's part of life so just really trying to figure out what the next moves are but I don't know I don't know let me know in the comments if you all feel the same way I feel like sometimes I know I can put a lot of pressure on myself to create and do and make and uh and keep up you know but at the end of the day, it's just about doing what comes naturally and, and authentically to you. And that's really what I've always done and what I've always tried to do and what I plan on continue doing. So I just can't wait till my aerial studio opens back up. If you all are new here or don't know, I also practice aerial acrobatics. I know, right? Random. <laughs> but I just love like fitness and movement. Um, and also heights, which is weird. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense. I'm a Gemini air sign. Your girl likes to be in the clouds, okay? She likes to be in the clouds. I'm really in this point in my artistic journey of like where I'm trying to combine the two, really try to fuse aerial arts as well as with my visual art. I'm just trying to figure it out. Kind of just talking with y'all, letting y'all know what's going on in my mind, letting y'all know what the future is gonna look like. Pretty much, I don't know, but I'm excited to take y'all on this journey with me. I'm excited for you to see the transformation of my studio, of my artwork, of my lifestyle, of my career. Plan on reactivating my Patreon account and um, getting some new merch available on my online store, like really revving up from the business perspective, you know? I guess that was my goal even when I started 2020, but you know, things fall off. Look, it's April now. We probably all done forgot about our New Year's resolutions in the midst of everything that's going on, which is completely understandable, I mean, but what is the original goal? And with all these changes that's taking place, uh, how can I adapt and how can I thrive? The world is really going in this virtual online direction. So how can I make sure that that I'm a part of that growth and a part of that change? So you all will see a lot of that coming up. And yeah, one of those things is gonna be the transformation of the studio with this dope macrame chandelier. Oh my God, it's been crazy seeing this thing transform. So I would love for you to be with me on that journey. So what we are doing today is, I'm actually gonna be bringing my aerial silks down so that I can get some training in because I am not trying to lose this upper arm strength. Your girl has trained too long to be out here getting soft, okay? Ah, it looks so good, it looks so good. Oh my God. You know, when you've been working on something, like you see it manifest, you just get geeked. Okay, I'm geeked. What I'm about to do now is first finish this smoothie, actually, because spinning around on Aerial Silks on a full stomach of kale and spinach is not a good idea, boo-boo. Just a little pro tip. <laughs> Far from a pro, but okay. Um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna be putting some beads on the end of that so my food can digest a little bit. But yeah, we are making a lot of progress. Yeah, this is giving me a whole vibe, so. All right, let's get to it. Oh, the sexiness. Ah! Yeah, this is going to be a whole vibe. You feel clean? Are you Are you clean now? <laughs> Okay, to get that, to get that Rona off, huh? Literally just worked up a whole sweat doing a digital dance party for a friend. Then I was just on a duo call with my bestie back in Chicago for hours. So yeah, now the sun is coming down and now I'm warm. About to get some stretched in, about to hop on the silks. girl's out here looking cray cray so yeah I put a rug down and my little floor pillow that's kind of acting as my pad but my silk is pretty low it's only about eight feet off the ground so I'm not doing anything too extreme just some major <laughs> major okay well yeah no not major at all just some light conditioning just to make sure that I maintain my grip strength I maintain my core strength and just so I can still make sure that I'm keeping the relationship with the silk because your girl yeah has been putting in some major work and I'm not trying to lose any of that so yeah usually when I come into the studio I actually wear like workout clothes underneath what I have on so I can just take that off and get to the air so yeah that's what we're gonna do for now ignore the background y'all we still getting the studio together but give this a like if you want to see the studio tour because it's gonna be coming soon okay it's gonna be coming real soon. All right, I'm gonna get warmed up. Shoulders is crunchy. Keep 
keep that grip strong. Taking my earrings off, but these by my girl Twyla Dill. If y'all are curious about my earrings, there we go. I'm gonna put her link down in the description. You welcome, boo. Handmade right in Seattle. full week of creating and training and studio renovations, all the things, but thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. This is gonna wrap up another studio visit and let me know in the comments below how you all are feeling during this time. Remember, if you liked it, like it, and I'll see you next time. The reason why